Another weird thing about my hearing aids is they whistle. Anybody who has hearing aids know they'll whistle. You go in for a hug, they start whistling. Or uh, if you're like laying on the couch in a weird way, maybe the pillow's up against them, they'll start whistling. Those things you can get used to, but the, the weirdest one is when they uh, start whistling when I'm performing cunnilingus. <laughs> That's a thing. I hate that, by the way, performing cunnilingus. That's when I'm eating that puss. That's better. That's what I'm doing. It's a real thing. The legs are right there, you know. They'll start whistling. Scared the hell out of me the first time it happened. I didn't know. Nobody warned me that was going to happen. There's no. There's no separate section of sex ed class where they're like, "Hey, just a heads up." Anybody who wears hearing aids in here, you're gonna whistle while you work. You know? <laughs> Nobody told me. First time I was a young lad, you know, down there with my first lady, and all of a sudden, <laughs> got so embarrassed, I like tried to play it off. I was like, "Is somebody gonna get that kettle or what?" <laughs> Trying to do something here. First time it happened with my wife. Man, I knew she was a keeper because I got, I mean, I was a little older, but I still got a little embarrassed, you know? I looked up to see her reaction. She was like, did you just fire up an episode of the Andy Griffith show down there? What's going on? Did you just ease my insecurities while making an Andy Griffith show reference? This girl's trying to get wifed up. 